sixth grade boys. <laughs> so my awesome thing this week, uh, as Dutters mentioned, yeah, it's tomorrow's uh, we got Fat Tuesday coming up, but also um, you know day after that is Ash Wednesday, and with COVID and everything else going on right now. Uh, it, it's pretty tough to actually get out to for the Catholics to get out to churches, and usually you get the ashes and they put the, the cross on the forehead. Um, and since that's that's difficult to do this year because you know everyone's uh, social distancing, and a few churches that are open are actually sprinkling ashes on the head. Um, this group from uh, the Hallow app, which is a uh, it's like a, it's a meditation app, which is really cool if you need to like kind of chill out and and relax. Uh, it's kind of faith based. Uh, for Catholics and, and Christians are on there. So there's some praying. There's uh, there's a lot of like this local, like the celebrities within the, the circle are on there. Uh, and what they did is they came up with this really cool idea to have a filter for Ash Wednesday. So give me one second here, All right? Because you get in real time. So you can get, there you go, an Ash cross on your head <laughs> as a Facebook filter or Instagram. In case you can't make it out and it, it's what's neat is there, so there's a lot of groups not just with catholics but other religious groups too that are you know everyone's finally starting to get on the technology train that we've been talking about for so many years and now uh yeah it's neat to see that everyone's finally starting to embrace technology like stuff that it's been in our world for you know like what the last 10 15 years we've been deep into the social media and everything so as i guess you could say as our generation is starting to take over and, and and be in charge of things, uh, you know, there's cool little toys that come out like this. So yeah, if, uh, if you get a chance, check it out. Um, let me see, I believe we're, we'll have a, a link to it in the show notes, but you could go to hallow.com, H-A-L-L-O-W.com. And they've got information right there on the blog on what they're calling Ash Tag 2021. And you gotta watch it <laughs> because, well, that, that could be said several ways. If, <laughs> depending on your accent <laughs> oh, i'm trying awesome. not to let my yinzer come out <laughs> <laughs> then leading that... up well and then going along with ash wednesday then is you know we've got fish fries coming up too so we'll have links too for the uh the lenten fish fry map in pittsburgh which has hundreds of locations it's fish it's fish fry season i love it i was i was surprised i didn't realize that there were churches that served alcohol yeah, in fact, and that, and, and that um, St. Bernard's filter. did last year. Yeah, and that's a filter you can use on the fish fry map finder. Yeah, for several years, uh, St. Bernard, well, they didn't do it last year because of, that's when the COVID was was really uh, mm -hmm. kicking up. But uh, St. Bernard's has always had beer. Like that, uh, when you go down to get your food, they had beer on tap. Uh, St. Thomas More and a few others in Bethel Park. Uh, have cash donations for beer because you can't actually say no this is five dollars this is whatever but you can make a donation to get a beer or get a glass of wine which let me tell you we went through several bottles of wine at our <laughs> church <laughs> we said make a donation you get wine with your fish it wasn't as classy as the time at pod camp when i filled up beer bottles for dutters with wine but it's pretty close <laughs> nothing you gotta, look, you gotta look out us. for the uh, fish fry map that's, they've been doing that for years now. It's, it's pretty cool. It's all an interactive map. It, the other good thing with that too is, so there's been a lot of mergers of parishes and other locations that have, uh, like non-religious uh, ones that have closed down. So the, the map has a filter for uh, who's been verified for 2021. So definitely check that out to see who's still doing it. Uh, most churches and establishments have gone to online ordering so, because it's pickup only. You can't dine in. It'd be cool if you could do that and grab a six pack and you're set. Because I'm, I'm noticing like Piper's Pubs on here, um, OTB Bicycle Cafe. I'm, I'm surprised Jamos Jamison's isn't isn't on here listed. Oh, we need to talk to Jamie about that one. Yeah, because they get. I mean, we ordered from there, and you'd you'd have to order like three hours in advance, and they'd stop taking orders well before, like. I want to say like they would they would have to stop taking orders at like six because their last delivery went out at like eight or eight thirty. So I don't know if it'll be like that this year. They were they were completely closed last year. No, no indoor or anything. Um, I think they're able to have people in there for for eating. Yeah, he's whatnot. reopened a little bit. Yeah, for it. I don't know what his restrictions are for, but like most things at Jameson's, it, they're huge sandwiches. 
everything mm -hmm. there is like is over the top awesome i love it there 